Hey, 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 what's up everybody? What's going on? It's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca, and this is Crows Wars. Crows Wars. Crows Wars, episode 17. That's right, Jenny, we are back for another episode of Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars, where we go to war weekly over the hottest topics in cruise. And how are you feeling today? You feeling a little frisky? Feeling like you're ready for a fight? Well, always... Do we want to explain to everybody what Cruise Wars is? I want you to, answer, Jenny. My, I want you to answer my question. Oh, I'm feeling Team are you, Jenny Are you all ready the way. for a fight? Let's go. Let's. I'm ready to rumble. I'm going to pop my collar. I don't even have a collar. <laughs> but you make a good point. Uh, people do want to know how it works. Well, this is a point-counterpoint debate show debating the hottest topics in cruising. We take eight categories. We write them on some fancy pieces of parchment paper, if you will. We, we mix them up in a bowl. I don't know if you've seen the bowl yet. We draw them out one by one. Three topics per episode. Uh, we decide who's going to argue for it, who's going to argue against it by the roll of a 20-sided die. And uh, yeah, and then at the end, make sure you stay tuned to that. We tell you uh, what we really think about the topic. I think that is Cruise Wars Team Basics Jenny. 101. And yeah, throughout this thing, uh, you're going to hear Jenny squawk, Team Jenny, Team Jenny. Basically, she wants you to say that her arguments are best. You could do it out of sympathy. You could do it out of being nice, but the real... You could just do it out of being right. The hashtag is Team Tony. Don't forget it. Uh, sing it proud. Sing it loud. Team Tony. Go ahead. Leave a comment below. Team Tony before the argument even begins, because you know we're on the money. But as we Hashtag do, Loca Fam. As we do every week, Jenny is going to tell us the five topics that were uh, left over from the previous Cruise Wars. Jenny... What are the, gosh, this shirt is crazy. What are the classic topics? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Should you book all you can drink excursions on port days? That was brought to us on April 22nd. You need to calm down. <laughs> Should cruise lines provide toilet liners in public restrooms? That's with us since April 14th. Mm. Old school. That's right. Should the cruise line do automatic gratuities? That was brought to us on April 14th. Mm -hmm. Should you take valuable jewelry on a cruise? April 22nd. Nothing deuce, from May. Deuce. Well, it's, it's just now May the 5th. So. Should the cruise line sail during hurricane season? And that was brought to us on April 28th. What are the new topics, Tony? All fine, valuable topics. The new one should be, should be heavy, g -bye. Did you get that? What was that? Team Jenny? Should, no, that was definitely not Team Jenny. Should kids be allowed to use the hot tubs on a cruise ship? Hmm, it's in the bowl. Hmm. Strong opinions out there, I know. Yes. Should you be able to pay for priority boarding? Mm hmm. In the bazool. Should the ship require you to take those embarkation photographs? another good one. Jenny, you want to mix the bowl? Why don't you mix the bowl? You do such a great job at it. Boom, that's correct. Oh, you see, and you're dropping them. And... What happened? Let me put those back in there. You sure you want to let me mix the bowl? No. I'm trying to throw her off her game, folks. I'm trying to rattle her. I will mix the bowl. I'm trying to shake it up. He doesn't do a thing to me. Shake it up. Team Tony. Are we ready? You went first last week. Everybody. You go first this week. Topic one coming out of the bowl. I do need your timer. You make it sound so fancy. It's just our cell phone, Jenny. <laughs> so fancy. It's a fancy. timer. Yes. All right. One minute on the clock. You're going to read the question. You ready? You ready? I am. You Let's ready? go. Should kids be allowed to use the hot tub? Well, that's a new one. That one just went in today. We're going to roll a 20-sided die. Zero through ten, I will be for kids being allowed to use the hot tub. Eleven through twenty, I will be against it. Six. I am for kids being able to use the hot tub. <laughs> awesome. Go. No? Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? Of course kids should be able to use the hot tub. Look. You don't go on a family vacation to a resort to, to someplace fancy with a pool and say, look, sorry kids, can't get in the pool. 
sorry kids, you can't get in the hot tub. No different on a cruise ship. Look, you paid a lot of money for the cruise. You paid your money. And if Junior wants to get in the hot tub, probably pee in it, you gotta let him in there. You can't, you know, there's nothing more sad than a wet little child looking longingly at the hot tub with achy muscles wanting to get in there and just relax with the adults. Sure, the adults might be in there having an adult beverage. They might be having a little conversation that's inappropriate, but look, pile the toddlers in. Children are a blessing. They're a blessing on land. They're a blessing on sea. They're a blessing in the hot tub. You paid your money. Get the kids in the hot tub. Time's up. Is that your argument? Pretty solid. Hashtag Team Tony. <laughs> Jenny, you, I, it's going to be hard for you to come up with an argument, I know, <clears throat> to argue why kids should not be in the hot tub. Are you ready? I'm ready. One minute on the clock. Time okay. starts now. Do it. Go. All right. So you're in the hot tub. You know, you're about 25, 26. You have an adult beverage and, you know, you have your bathing suit on. It's showing things that little children should not be seeing like these boobies just hanging out. What? You is... know, and then you're getting frisky with your boyfriend. Well, guess what? I am a mother. I do not want my kids seeing that. So you know what the cruise lines should do? They should have times that just children are allowed in the hot tub. Come on, you have the serenity deck just for the adults. Why don't you have something for just the kids? Have a hot tub for the children. You know what? When I go into the hot tub, I don't want to feel the hotness of yellow water. No, the kids should not be in the hot tub the same time that I am. And you know what? I'm a mom. I don't want my kids seeing people drinking and boobies hanging out and kissing. Have separate Your time times. time is up. I know you like to be respectful of the time. Your time is up. Now, if you're new here, we take it one step further. There might be other shows out there that I'll argue, Jenny will argue, we'll call it a day. No, not here on Cruise Wars, not here on La Lita Loca. We go one more time. Whoever went first gets a chance to rebut the booby Cruise argument. Wars. The booby argument, as it were. <laughs> All right, Jenny, do I have one more minute Are on the you clock? ready? I am absolutely ready. Go. Look, boobies are natural. Every kid wants to see them. Uh, a lot of them suckled a booby to get sustenance to live their life. I say, hashtag, free the booby. Don't restrict the kids from seeing the booby and let them in a hot tub. I mean, come on. You're on a family cruise. It's not like you book adult family only. Family cruise. It's not like you book family. adult only. Jenny, you got to get over it. Family We let kids cruise. watch violence 100 hours a day. I didn't. Let the kids see a boob. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm for it as a grown man. Also, the kids don't go in I'm the digging a hole tub. here. But Stop anyways, it. let's uh, look. It's simple. I paid my money. I'm putting Junior in the hot tub. You can cover up or you can get over it. I yield back my time. You didn't have much time anyway. Only six seconds. Oh, man. Getting a little uh, worked up over here. Really? Yeah, like, uh, like you know, anger and stuff. I thought maybe it was the booby talk. What? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. What, what do you think? Let's take it down. Let's get your mind out of the gutter, Jay. Let's take it down. What do you think? Kids in the hot tub? No kids in the hot tub? Leave a comment below. We'd sure love to know what you think. I don't want hot pee on me. It's a whole nother show. Mm -hmm. Alright, are we ready for the second argument? Yes. Or I mean debate or topic. Which one do I mean? It's a civil conversation. No, it's not. Between, <laughs> between <laughs> consenting adults. Alright, All right, Jenny, what's topic numero two? Oh my goodness. Did we mix these up? You mixed them. I threw them all out of the bowl. You mixed them. I don't know what <sighs> yeah. Should the ship require you to take embarkation pictures? Excellent. Excellent topic. Worthy of our debate. I have 16, so it's no. You are against it. That's right. All right. Are we ready? <laughs> I am ready. <clears throat> One minute on the clock. Yeah, time's up. All right. So for anybody that doesn't know what embarkation 
picture is the cruise lines stop, they make you take a picture, and then you can board the ship. It also means when you're at port and you're getting off the ship to go visit this beautiful island or beautiful destination that you have, they make you take like 15 pictures before you can start the fun. Come on, I paid to go on a cruise to get to ports. Not to take pictures. If I want to take pictures, I'll wait until I get for, you know, elegant night. If I want to take a picture there, don't force me to take a picture that I don't want to take. And you know what? Then you hold up the lines. That's why it takes two or three minutes because Junior and, you know, little Missy over there, they want to take their sweet time and they want their kids to have 15 different pictures. Oh, and stand on this side and say, oh, you know what? I didn't like my smile there. Move! I want to get on to the port and see the island. Your time is up, Jay. I could use another three minutes. Oh, you might have another chance, but let the master do his work. Hashtag Team Tony. Go ahead and put it down before. You know. You know where it's going. He thinks he's the master. Your time starts. Go. Of course you should take a picture. Look, you're making memories, people. You are making memories. And how are you going to make memories if you don't take the embarkation picture? Oh, oh, it takes a couple minutes. It takes a couple minutes. You know what? You're going to cry like a baby if you go to the if you go to the picture wall and you don't see a picture of yourself getting on the cruise ship. I sure would wish I would have got a picture of myself on the cruise ship. Uh, and, and look, you go to some exotic uh, location. You go to Havana, Cuba. How often are you going to do that? Get a picture with the little wooden uh, life preserver that says Havana on it. W when are you going to take it? You're going to take it downtown Havana? No, you're going to take it when you get off the ship. The photographers are there. The line of people is there. Uh, of course, I you know I would rather inconvenience you for a couple minutes, force you to take that picture, than to listen to you whine standing at the picture while like, oh, I wish I would have got my Havana picture. Everybody else got Havana picture now. It's ridiculous. Look, the cruise line's doing you a favor. They know that you're irresponsible. Right, you're done. Give me a minute. Of course you gotta get the picture. No, you don't. Do you need more time, Jenny? Do you, do you, do you, is there any way that you can refute my argument? Yeah, you ready? One minute on the clock. Your time starts now. All right. Take your own pictures. I'm done. I didn't give you permission to take my picture. I'm done. 45 seconds left. I won't even take it. Look. No. I'm going to finish up. Oh, now you're taking it? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. This... First of all, oh, you have a camera on your phone. Who leaves without their phone? Come on. We have pitches. We have videos. Why do you have to hold up the line for, you know, it takes sometimes up to 45 minutes to get off the ship because I'm waiting for people to take their 15 minute, 15 pitches. Take a quick picture and that's it. And then you know what they do? They take your picture and then you go up and you look at it. And then guess what? You're giving the cruise line more money. More. Because they're like, what? 20 bucks? 12 bucks? How much are they? Sure. I don't know. How I much mean, you want them to you be? You know, I want them to be 100 bucks. Your time is up. Just move. Team Jenny. Don't buy them pictures. I don't think we're going to solve this here today. Uh, but let's take it down, Jenny. You seem no. a little upset. It's just a picture. Because I have to wait for 15 minutes to get off picture. of the ship because they have to take 13 pictures. All right, let's take it down. How about you? Hashtag Team Tony. How about you, Loka fam? Hashtag Team Tony. What I'm saying is how about Team you uh, let us know, do you think that they, they should take your picture on the cruise line? See, I'm Ma taking a picture right now. I did not consent to this. I mean, you know, Same it's way just I... as easy. Boom, you're done. Your time is up. Keep going, move. Leave a comment below, let us know what you think. Topic number three. That is definitely a Team Jenny. Always. Try to mix this up a little better. Should the cruise line sail during hurricane season? Those are the Jason months of uh, July, August, September, October, and November. I'm arguing against 18 on the die, and I'm going to tell you why they should not sail during hurricane season. Go. Uh, no, the cruise line should not uh, cruise during hurricane season. There's no way that they can guarantee you 
uh, the product that they're offering. Look, I book a cruise uh, in uh, January, J I don't know what Jason is, September. Let's just say September. I book a cruise in September and I'm gonna go to three places I really wanna go to. I wanna go to Cozumel, I wanna go to Key West, and I wanna go to uh, Puerto Rico. I don't know if that's a real itinerary, but look, the hurricane's gonna come and you know where I'm gonna go? I'm gonna go to Lake Michigan. How about that? I paid my money, I paid to go to, Cor uh, to uh, oh, I'm so mad. I paid to go to Cozumel. <laughs> I paid to go to Key West, Florida. I paid to go to Puerto Rico, and now I'm up in the uh, lower peninsula, up in the Great Lakes. It's not right. I pay my money. I should get the product that I paid for. It's irresponsible to cruise during hurricane season. You either got to put me at risk to get me where you say you're going to take me, or you got to take me to some place I don't want to go. Right, that's it. It's not right. You're done. What an argument, Chip. <laughs> Jenny, I guess uh, you're going to tell me why the cruise line should cruise during hurricane season? Yeah, let's go. One minute on the clock. Time starts right. now. First of all, I don't think the cruise ships that we cruise are going to make it up to the Mississippi and go up to Michigan or wherever you're saying they're going to go. Oh, all now right. you're a so The cruise lines, number one, it's a business. They're going to they're gonna cruise every month, every day of every year. Guess what? Just because it's Jason months... Doesn't mean they're going to stop their itineraries. Go over to Alaska if you're afraid that you're not going to make it to Cozumel during July on high peak season of hurricanes. September. Well, I don't care. It's still a Jason month. Go to Alaska. Go over to Europe. You know what? When you buy a cruise, when you book a cruise, you're signing, you're saying, you know what? Whatever something could happen is going to happen. And guess what? Sometimes it happens. So you know what? You... Are making you're you're making that decision to book a cruise during Jason. Well, then you may miss a port that you're gonna go to. Oh, I'm not time. even close to being done. Unfortunately, that's the way it goes <sighs> this week, and I get one more minute to tell you how wrong you are. Hashtag oh, team just talk. getting started. Guess what? They're not gonna put the vessel or you in danger. Your time so, is up. Look. You know, guess what? When a blizzard hits, you know what they do at the airport? They close it down. Flights are canceled. Flights are delayed. Flights are rerouted because they don't want to put people in danger. And then you don't make it Not the to mommy's cruise house ship. for Christmas. Not the cruise ship. They let you stay on there four or five weeks because they made a bad decision. So you rent a car and, and you sailed. Drive. You can't drive through the middle of the ocean when you're stuck on a cruise ship, Jenny. When the airplane is grounded. When you're stuck on a cruise ship, you can't. Look. Don't put me at risk. I know it's a business, uh, and I know you got to make money, but you don't need to do that. They're not going to put you at, at risk. my safety. They're going to move you to a different then, port. You don't need to do that at my safety. Is this the is this the one minute Jenny interrupts me? A <laughs> uh, minute. I think I should get two minutes. I paid my money to go to where I'm supposed to go. You're not going to take me there. You shouldn't have made a false promise that you can't keep. Don't cruise during hurricane season. Keep people safe. It's ridiculous. I yield by my time. Uh, I was going to give you an extra ten seconds. I, I can't even think with your yammering over there. This was definitely a Team Jenny week. For sure. I'm just saying. Cruise Wars! Team Jenny. <laughs> you lost it really bad this week. Alright, now what's next? I don't know if she's ever going to stop talking. <laughs> What do you guys think? That's another debate. <laughs> Should you cruise during hurricane season? Yes or no? Should the cruise lines offer cruises during the hurricane season? Yes or no? Leave a comment below. Uh, and if you want that comment to be seen by me, you will hashtag it Team Tony. Whatever. We see all the comments. Hashtag Team Lolita Loca. All right, guys, that's that's the debate portion of the show. Uh, coming up is the portion of the show where we tell you what we actually think. Uh, so let... Okay, let's get out of debate, debate mode. I know. Because I it, it takes hot. a lot of work to be a winner, and <laughs> now I'm ready to... <laughs> okay! Jenny, question number one, should kids use the hot tub? What do you think, yes or no? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, sometimes it's inconvenient, and uh, I would hope that kids would be cool or responsible in the hot tub. But Well, and you hope that 
I mean, I'm not gonna. Should parents w make sure their kids are not acting crazy in the hot Absolutely. tub? Absolutely. That might be the that I might mean, be yeah. the solution. Yeah, but I mean, you know, everybody's on vacation, everybody's on vacation mode, and I get it, you don't really want to yell at your kids and tell them to sit down and tell, but you know what, when it's affecting other people's vacation, um, yeah, I mean, like, I would yell at our kid, well, not yell at them, oh my but, gosh. no, I mean, I would tell them what they were doing wrong, yes. even if we were on vacation. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. What was question number two? Number two. Should the ship require you to take embarkation pictures? Uh, I, I hadn't really thought about this until my partner in crime over at the Cruise Geeks, Matt Allen, Cruise Geeks. Uh, asked me this question, and it, it frustrates him. Uh, I think th I think it should be optional. That's my new that's my new stance on it. Uh, you are going to have some people that are like, "Oh, I, I missed out on my photo because I decided not to take it," but that's on you. I, I right. think I think I would rather have the five or ten minutes that I stand in line. They do it pretty quick, not. But the argument that you made getting off the ship at port. I mean, you stand there while while they take uh, the snap of this one, and then go take a picture with the Aztec feather guy, and then right. take a picture with the pirate. It's a lot. I just want to get off the ship and start my day. And so, if that was further down the dock on the uh, on you know when you go to a port and you could just go to a picture place. Uh, and if I could just go off to the side and delay myself getting on the cruise ship, I would do that. But uh, yeah, I, I, I think I'm I think I'm for that not being a requirement. I think so too. <clears throat> I agree. And I, like you, I I never really like I, I guess I thought about it a little bit like wow, why can't they move these pictures down the line a little bit so that people can get off the cruise ship? Um, you know, and maybe have one section. Hey, you know, this way for pictures. And this way, just to get on the ship, and I, I mean, you know, onto the island or the destination. But yeah, I think it should be optional. It's a, it's a good choice right there. I'm sure it's actually all calculated. I'm sure somebody said that if you have it at this spot, even though you right. inconvenience people, you're gonna sell more pictures. But uh, and I get it. Yeah, but maybe but if, maybe maybe, but maybe but if we all say something about it. Then you're inconveniencing, you know, your your passengers. Maybe if so. we all say something about it, who knows? That's right. Let's change the world, people. Let's the change world. it all one right. picture at a time. That's right. Okay, should the cruise line sail during hurricane season? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's a business. Yeah, and uh, I think you know... You know the risk you're taking when you book I think your statistically, uh, your, most of the time your cruise itinerary is not going to be messed up. Uh, and then additionally, they're not going to put you in harm's way. And every once in a while, you get inconvenienced mm -hmm. or stuck on a cruise ship. And so uh, they offer good pricing, and I think people know that. And So, I mean, we've cruised uh, in September, and... Uh, we cruised, what other month? Did we cruise during another Jason month? Uh, no. No, so we cruised in September, and it, it was scary. I mean, there was a mm -hmm. hurricane a week before, there was a hurricane a week after, there were people the previous month getting stuck on cruise ships. So we were in the middle of it, our cruise went off without a hitch, no change yeah. in itinerary, not even a blip, and uh, there was craziness going on all around us, so yeah, you just never know. We got lucky, we really did. Mm -hmm. We actually had someone over in the um, Facebook cruising community that actually got stuck on a ship out of Galveston during Irma. Mm. Yeah. An extra she time was, on the ship. Yeah, she was on there for like three or four extra days. And she had said that they actually like start the cruise over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they do a good job of taking yeah. care of you, so there could be worse mm -hmm. things, but that's got to be challenging for work and that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, those are the three topics. Those are what we think about them. Uh, do you agree? Cruz was Team Jenny. Disagree? Is it Team Tony? Is it Team Jenny? Uh, hey, if you like Cruise Wars, please, please, I'm going to use the word slap. Please slap a like on this video so that we know to keep making Cruise Wars. Mm -hmm. And just, uh, you know, be on the lookout. We have a new uh, Cruise Wars coming out called Cruise Wars <laughs> Battles. So exciting. And that's going to be kicking off uh, this Wednesday. I don't know the date, what this Wednesday is. What is today? The 6th? Mm -hmm. Let's work it out together instead of looking at our technology. So if today's the 6th, Monday's the 7th, right? Tuesday's the 8th, making Wednesday the 9th, new Cruise Wars Battle going to debut at 8 o'clock Eastern Time on a Wednesday the 9th. 
And, and the way it works is we've solicited uh, our friends. Uh, the first episode is a doozy. We've got a, a really cool fellow creator going to join and battle Jenny and I. And then we have a, a couple of friends of the Lalita Loca community, uh, uh, Matt Allen from the Cruise Geeks channel, and uh, my brother, uh, Chris, Chris from the Retro Sarge channel. They're going to go at it. We're going to all argue the same topic, uh, w whether or not you should dress up for formal night. And uh, Jenny and I are going to run commentary. So it <laughs> stands to be a good time. Make sure you tune in Wednesday night for Cruise Wars Battles. Uh, and again, if you're not subscribed to the Lalita Loca uh, Cruising channel, uh, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Uh, come join us on what has to be the the most fun, uh, the bestest uh, uh, cruising community on Facebook. That's the La Lita Loca Cruising Community. Uh, you can come and check out all of our social media. Yeah, Twitter and Instagram at La Lita Loca. At La Lita Loca. And uh, all the links for that and all the other things that we do are in the description below. And again, my name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. Team Jenny. Time out. Time out. Hashtag Team Tony. My name is Tony. And I am Jenny. We are La Lita Loca. This was Cruise Wars uh, episode 17. Wow. And I guess until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. See you on the Hold Lido. Hold it a minute. What? what? Just take it down a notch. Because now the camera's going to go off. And maybe any of that animosity. We'll see you on the Lido. <laughs> I'm afraid to turn the camera off now. <laughs> Until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. Send help. We will see you on the Lido. <laughs> Bye. Bye.